you're here to talk to us about Celebrity Master Chef. How are you getting on with Celebrity Master Chef? Um. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> do you cook a lot? I love cooking. Yeah. I my favourite thing to do on a day off is come home, get a recipe book out, trying something new. So I really enjoy cooking, but it's completely different on Master Chef to yeah. being at home. You say you love your cooking, but when put in that scenario, you got yeah. the clip we've got, you got quite nervous. You know, I'm fine when I'm at home, but I think it's the cameras are right close to you, and you can't refer to a book or you can't phone your mum. I mean, you tend to lose a lot of common sense when you're in that situation. What they don't do is tell you what you're going to do, no. do you? So get a load of ingredients and then say, do something with them. You've yeah. got to cook this meal. Okay. Afterwards, you think, oh, I would have done that. Yeah, yeah. but at the time... <laughs> yeah. All right, let's have a look at this clip here. Mm. You taught me to chop an onion. Yeah, that's the best bit of that clip, isn't it? Really? <laughs> yeah. you chop it was yeah. after the show, and yeah. you were leaving, and you said, "Can you teach me how to chop an onion?" Yeah, yeah. Thank you. John and Greg are lovely, though, aren't they? When They're you, so when, nice. Yeah. Greg's yeah. like a comedian. He just tells jokes. Well, the bad jokes. jokes. Yeah. But he, you know, <laughs> yeah. he's, he's like the bloke down the pub telling bad jokes. But he jokes. does just tell loads yeah, of bad does, jokes, yeah. doesn't he? Just he? Keeps on going. <laughs> he likes a pudding. I, I'm, I don't really eat. A lot of sweet things are more savoury, so I don't tend to cook a lot of dessert. So not... many people, they just don't do it because yeah. you don't eat puts. Yeah. yeah. You might have a bar of chocolate, but you won't go, you won't have a dessert yeah. in a restaurant. Right? All right, thanks, Heidi. Thanks, You're making Heidi. A, a dessert, I think, uh, later. Right, it is pudding time. But you, you, you said that the one thing you learned was that you had to speed up with your cooking. Yeah, I'm quite OCD and organised. John Tarot said to me at one point, he said, I was a uh, Peeling a carrot, he's like, "You're not filing your nails. You need to get these <laughs> carrots." <laughs> it's a competition yeah. thing, isn't it? You know, I, I enjoy like, it at home yeah. with the mu music on and a glass of wine. No, you say you don't mate? do puds, so we're, we're going to make something that's really lovely. It's, it's gooseberry season, so we're going to do a gooseberry and lemon posset. The thing about gooseberries is the fact that they're tart. They're tart. Yeah, so absolutely. Can't over sweeten them. No, too far. Is that about right? Mm, that's good. Yeah, but there's still oh, that, yeah. that telltale acidity. Oh, it's got a bit of a like that. Mm. Yeah, and that's what mm -hmm. you want. Like then. rhubarb. Completely right, Tim. So, and with it, we're going to make some um, orange blossom biscuits. Next thing for you is chop those in half and then come round. You can squeeze that lemon juice. Now this is nice and warm, we add our sugar and then we add our cordial because we're changing that chemical composition. You could use elderflowers, but what tends to happen is you will kind of get the extract and use it in a cordial because you need an awful lot of elderflower. So squeeze the lemon juice, this kind of beautiful, lovely sweetness. That is, you don't need to thicken it with gelatin or anything like that. Purely the fact that we've got the cream, the lemon juice, stir Stem and too. we stir and we stir, okay? It's beautiful. So Heidi, next job. If we spoon half of the gooseberry mix into each of those, you are very kind of calm when you cook. In, in the way speed kind of up, Heidi! Come, yeah. come on! Come on, there's come on, customers waiting. Do you have set um, laws on timings for customers? Yeah. yeah. 15 minutes uh, from ordering to starters going out. Grab yourself one. There's some spoons Dip your there. Bicky in. What do you think, everyone? Is that delicious? Yeah. Mm. yeah. That's absolutely delicious. Yeah, yeah. Is that yeah. it is. Is that's really a... refreshing as well. Taste of summer. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's good. All right, um, thanks to all of our guests.